Thanks for joining me this morning. Today we're going to be tackling a Brizo shower cartridge for a customer of ours. The complaint was the hot water had low pressure but high pressure on the cold water. Typically you have a bad cartridge because you have hard water. The tools you'll need today will be a screwdriver, a pair of channel locks, and an SAE Allen. So here we're going to be using a delta replacement cartridge. Here's the number. It's a very simple and easy process. First thing you'll have to do is just remove the cap. You can just stick your fingernails behind that and get to the Phillips screwdriver. Next step, you want to remove this Phillips screw. Turn the lock, unscrew. A little hard to do with one hand, two hands you would hold on to it. Thread this all the way out. Don't lose the screw. Set that to the side. Now again, this is where you need your Allen key. Your Allen is right there. So all you have to do, stick your Allen key into it. Make sure your water is off. Always first and foremost, make sure your water is off. You might get wet. Back this out a few turns. So this comes loose. Now that you've exposed your cartridge. Now, next up, replace the slip ring. This can be a little bit of fun. So we're gonna switch hands. This one's starting to fight me a little bit. There we go. Come on, baby. Here we are. Now you have access to the slip ring. Get your pair of channel locks, open them up. Got that loose. Move this all the way out. Now you have access to your cart. Pull your cartridge out. Check inside for debris. Get your new cartridge, which I this is the new cartridge. I'm kind of skipping things. When you put it in, make sure you put it. H is on the left. C is on the right. Can't really see it that well, my apologies. Reinsert. Also has an indication for up. Slide it back in. Make sure your teeth line up properly. There you go. That goes in nice and tight. Now, all you have to do is reapply the lock ring. put this diverter in, put it in a little crooked. So getting that ring to start, you have to hold it off to the side a little bit. Okay. I just want to snug it a little bit. I don't want to go too hard. Again, grab your channel locks. Just snug it. You don't need to go tight. Now, install your slip ring. You'll see the little mark here, the little water line. And that's what you go to there, right past it. Yep. Now, reinstall your handle. And your Allen. Check the functionality. Make sure this is going to go on and off. And it's not going to slip off. Great. Now, you want to stick your temperature setting gauge on here. Now, you want to make sure you go lock to lock on this so you get your full hot water capabilities. And reinstall your Phillips screw. Snug it back down. A lot of these don't need a lot of torque, just a little bit of tension. All right. Reinstall your plate. Turn the water on and you're done.
pretty simple.